it began, the band, by me posting an ad on Craigslist for a singer. Craigslist. Uh, I was just looking, I kind of started playing guitar. And the first thing I wanted to do was make up my own songs. But uh, I guess I didn't know enough, so... I just wanted to find somebody who would help me out. And then I saw this post of this guy that he actually had a bunch of uh, music. But then he didn't have anybody to put lyrics or to sing to it. A couple people responded, but there was only one person that I actually got together with and uh, you know, talked talk to him, and that happened to be Jessica. I contacted him, and it was a weird first meeting <laughs> in a park because we were kind of shy, both of us. And it was super awkward. Uh, we played each other some songs. We were both really, really nervous, uh, but it, it went okay. A couple of weeks passed by, and Jessica was texting me, "Oh, I'm, I'm not blowing you off. I'm just really busy at work. We'll get together soon." And we finally did, like two or three weeks later. And she had written pretty much all the lyrics for one song. And then Mao came along. Yeah, he had his own band. He wanted us to open up for his band. We were playing bars and, and stuff. Just uh, four guys, and we had about two hours of set. Uh, but we needed about three hours in order to be able to play in, in both, most bars. So I uh, went for my alter ego, which was to be a drummer for a band. And I asked Jessica if they were willing to give me a shot at, at playing drums. Well, he kind of just stayed here, never left. <laughs> and then Leo appeared, crazy Leo. And it's, it's the perfect mix. Well, what I first heard originally was kind of skeleton song work, you know? And what I try to hear in things before I really flesh them out is, is the potential of the song, you know? And uh, what I heard was a lot of potential, a lot of deep emotional kind of things, a lot of fun, energetic things, and just tried to do my part to, uh, to flesh out the rest of that emotion, to kind of set the setting, if you will, you know? Leonard is the only one in the band that likes metal. He's so versatile in music-wise. I mean, he likes a lot of metal, but he knows everything from funk to ska. I think Leo likes to make love to a song. And what I mean by that is he likes to sit down with them, have a cup, a glass of wine, discuss a song with the song, and then come up with something. So with Leo it takes a little bit more time, but it's totally worth it. Although we don't get to see them making love. <laughs> Mal is the only, in, the only one in the band that I know of that can play the banjo and the harmonica at the same time. My drummer, I would say bounce. You know, it's the bounce. It's where everything comes from in terms of the, the beat, so. Mal and his avid brothers are the Beatles. <laughs> Jessica has a really good um, stage presence. Jessica is the only one in the band that has no facial hair. She kind of sprinkles the songs with all this kind of cool stuff, so spark. If that's offensive, I'm sorry. I think I'm the only one that can pretty much listen to anything, you know, and then it, it comes together with the punk that AJ loves to listen to. I'd say, I'd say I count AJ as, as AJ, our guitar player. I kind of miss just fun, you know, straight out. Just fun, fun dude, fun guitar parts. Uh, he's having a blast all the time. You can sort of let him know what you would like for him to do, and he'll do it. Um, he'll do his best, and a lot of every time he comes through. I don't know. We're all a little bit uh, weird, <laughs> so uh, I don't know. I mean, it's, everybody has their own unique stuff. Everybody has had a, a dream that they've never been able to do. We're actually fighting for that dream and it's to record an album. People, I think, um, I guess we're um, asking for donations. We just go out there and we perform. We're pouring, we're pouring our hearts out to everybody. So if, if you really like it, if you even if maybe you don't, but you want to help somebody fulfill their dream, of uh, doing what they love to do, then please help us out.
you're actually uh, helping us achieve a goal and a milestone in the band uh, that has um, propelled uh, really fast if you think about it. We were probably below 100 fans in Facebook just a couple of months ago and now we're over 300. It's a dream of each and every single one of us. Um, we all have had different experiences. Some of us have recorded before, some of us haven't. So in that case you're giving us the opportunity to be in the studio and, uh, and record what we do in the shows. And on the other hand, um, you're going to be able to give us the opportunity to um, provide that music that we can only do live to people that don't necessarily have the capability of going to every single show or even one show. People that support us from Venezuela, um, South America, where Jessica and I are, are from, or, you know, family members and friends that don't live here in San Antonio. Um, we're going to give them the opportunity to listen to what we've been working on. Um, and it's been a lot, of, a lot of work, but it's been also a lot of fun. So if you think about it that way, you're donating to help us provide that opportunity to everybody. And uh, uh, please donate uh, whatever you can. Everything that you, anything that you can donate for the band is going to help us get to that point. And from there, who knows? You know, we might be able to, in the future, play a show in your hometown or your home country. Who knows? The sky's the limit, and uh, we're getting our wings thanks to you. For General Bocado, please donate on the side of the page.